then here's my obligatory comment concerning um, the death of Osama bin Laden. Of course, I'm happy, and I never, never really thought I would be happy when I found out someone was murdered. <laughs> but I'm very happy. Um, I am an American, so it was a very um, good thing to hear about. Uh, I got home from school yesterday. I, I always make the video before I turn on my computer. I just make the video real quick and then I turn on the computer just to get it over with. And um, as the video was uploading, I, I uh, saw the news on my homepage and I was like, oh, really? Wow. And I started, you know, checking it out, seeing videos, watched the president's speech on the matter. And um, it was just kind of like this moment where, you know, sometimes you forget about all this stuff that's happening in the world, you know. <laughs> you get caught up in your own stuff, like the earthquake and just life in general. And all of a sudden you hear this good news and you're like, oh, yes, yes. And I think someone pointed out on Twitter or face I'm not exactly sure where. So someone said, um, it's because we all said rabbit, rabbit. <laughs> the power of rabbit, rabbit destroyed bin Laden. And ah, oh, yes, I would love to take credit for it, but of course, the credit goes to the soldiers and the, the organizers of the thing. <laughs> I'm not very political, but I do know that I'm, I'm very happy to hear this news, and I'm psyched, and I thank everyone who was part of it. Um, on September 11th, I was, 2001, I was in eighth grade, um, and... My school did not handle the situation very well at all. Um, they didn't tell us about it. You know how the um, the planes hit at like 9 in the morning? 9.20, I think. Um, we didn't, we didn't know, I didn't know about it until I got home. Because I didn't have a cell phone. And we were in middle school, so I think they were trying to like keep it a secret from us so we wouldn't get upset. I got home from school and um, my whole family was home, everyone was watching TV and I was like, what's going on? Like, I, I didn't even really get it. I, I watched some of the footage on the TV and I was like, oh gosh, that sucks. But it didn't like really sink in. I said, oh, I watched the footage and then I walked away. It didn't really sink in until the next day they were having like counseling sessions and we were all sitting around talking about it, talking about our feelings and all this stuff, and I, I was finally starting to occur to me, like, this is a big deal. This isn't just something that happens. This is a huge, huge deal. So, it's weird. I was an eighth grader when that happens, and now I teach eighth graders. It's bizarre. Ten years ago. Such a little twerp back then, you know? I'm still kind of a twerp. But it's... It's one of those things that everyone says, like, oh, you always remember where you were when you found out. And I can remember walking up the stairs, because we had a downstairs, so walking up the stairs into the kitchen and seeing my family and being like, mm, what's going on? <laughs> Why is everyone home right now? That, so even though that was many hours after the actual attack took place, that's what I remember. That, that's, that's the moment I remember. You know, it was like three o'clock in the afternoon when I when I first found out. So, and then they also say that you're going to remember where you were when you found out that Osama has been taken down. And um, I just called him Osama, like I'm on a first name basis with him. Osama <laughs> bin Laden um, has been taken down. I was sitting in this chair checking my email and looking at the news sites and then I saw it on the Twitter updates and the Facebook updates and I was just like, whoa, this is a this is a big deal. I mean, this this time around I knew it was a big deal right from the beginning, but it was it's just kind of exciting to it does bring a good sense of closure. Anyway, I'm babbling. Let's see ya. Hi guys. This is the video for today. This shot me sitting here. So um, if you're more interested in other videos, other types of videos, I mean like exploration videos, and this isn't going to be one of those. 
Um, I just wanted to answer a couple of questions and comments that pop up a lot in the comments section or I get in a, in a personal message pretty often. Um, first of all, tons of people ask about that creepy guy who came to my door like 12 times in a really old video. I want to say it's like in the 50s. You know, not right now I'm in like late 200s, but I'm in like the 50s there's a there's a video called like Creepers. And there, there's a creepy guy who comes to my door and he won't go away. He tries to open my door and he tries to come in several times. Um, and everyone's always like, so you know, whatever happened to that creepy guy at the door? And um, I haven't seen him since I made that video. So um, there you go. <laughs> no more creepy guy at the door. Um, a lot of people ask, um, you never told us what Epic Day was, and whatever happened to it, what ha I did address this in a video, but I guess some people must have missed it, or maybe they didn't watch the entirety of that video, but Epic Day was, um, my friend was going to come out to Japan, and we were going to go and visit various places, kind of like take a grand tour, and it was going to be super duper fun. Um, Epic Day got cancelled of course, because of the earthquake and tsunami and radiation. I didn't think I was <laughs> being a good friend by <laughs> expecting her to make that journey, so I, I just canceled it. So unfortunately, Epic Day got canceled. Stop asking about it, because it makes me so sad. Um, a lot of people ask, can you show us the kids? Can you show us you in the classroom? Can you show us you teaching? And no, I can't do that. I cannot do that, um, ever, at any point. In some of the earlier videos, you saw some clips of kids, like, um, at marathons or whatever. But every time I take a clip of a kid, I always try to make it very far away, not show their faces, and not make it specific. Um, because, keep in mind, these kids are all minors. They're all under 18. They can't give their consent to be in a video. Um, and I would have to get like permission slips from every one of their parents if I was gonna like, oh this is Broken Foot Kid, say hi! Hi, I'm Broken Foot Kid! You know, I can't, I can't do that. Um, and I definitely can't take the camera in to a classroom and shoot a video because it's the same issue. Um, I could lose my job. Pure and simple, I could lose my job. So, I know, I, I mean, I would love to show you guys videos of the kids because I talk about them so much that I would love to just like put a face to their name, their name, but I can't, so don't ask anymore. Um, a lot of people ask me where am I in relation to Tokyo and to Sendai and Fukushima. I'm about 90-ish kilometers north of Tokyo. So by car it would take like an hour and 15 minutes. So when I take the bus into Tokyo it takes about an hour, a little more than an hour to get there. Um, by train it takes about two hours because there isn't really a direct route. You kind of have to go like this and then this and then this and then this, unfortunately. Um, and then to Sendai I'm about 400 kilometers south of Sendai, um, and my town is really, is, is landlocked, it's far in, so we didn't get affected by the tsunami. Um, so there's that. Uh, you don't have to think or worry about tsunamis. Um, so if, if there, no, please don't happen, but it, if, if there's another crazy event like that, then um, you don't have to worry about a tsunami attacking me. Because um, a lot of people were worried, because I missed a video that day because we uh, lost power so I couldn't upload anything, and a lot of people were worried. Um, so if it happens again and I miss a day, don't assume a tsunami took me out because um, we're, we're far enough away from the water that that's not an issue. <coughs> <laughs> Depressing. Okay, um, a lot of people ask me about my eye color. 
um, they're always asking like, oh, one of your eyes looks green and one of your eyes looks brown. And um, yeah, it's, it's true, I do have a creepy green eye. Which one is it? <laughs> I have a creepy green eye. Uh, the lighting in the room is weird right now, so I can't see, but um, it's... I mean, they're both mostly brownish. In some lights, they're kind of greenish. But one of them is like a lot lighter. I think it's this one is a lot lighter than the other one. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know why that happens. I think I... I might be making this up completely. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I, I'm not going to even say it because I don't, I don't know the reason why people have two different colored eyes. But my dad has one blue eye and one green eye, so... Um, we're kind of similar in that way, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's not that prominent, and I feel like as I've gotten older, it's gotten brighter, because I never noticed it before. But, like, whenever people write in a comment, like, one of your eyes looks green, I just look at the video back, and I'm like, well, well yeah, wow, it really is. And, um, I, <laughs> I was actually looking in the mirror when I was home for, um, spring vacation. <laughs> I was talking to my sister, and I was like, wow, I really, my, I do have a creepy green eye, don't I? So... So yes, I have a green eye. <laughs> um, okay, the last question is going to sound kind of mean. <laughs> I've, I've practiced, I've actually practiced this, because every time I try to say it, it sounds mean, and I feel bad. <laughs> um, a lot of people send me personal messages saying, like, oh, what are the requirements to get the job you have, because I want to get your job, because you inspire me, and you're really nice. But, um, you can find all this information online, um, look it up on Google, um, find the company that you are interested in, and find out what their requirements are. I can tell you, you have to graduate from college, and you have to speak English. But other than that, I mean, that, that's common sense. You, you have to know that. Um, but other than that, it just depends on the company you're applying to. And a lot of people say, like, oh, I've... I've looked at companies' websites, but I can't find any of the answers to these questions. You know, stuff like, what's your monthly rent, and uh, what, you know, how much does a meal cost, or whatever. And it's it's so much easier to just ask someone who lives here, like, hey, so what's your exact situation? Because I, I would like to be in that situation, so can you tell me everything? It's a lot easier for you to do that, but it's really difficult for me, because I get like five or six of these messages a day <laughs> and I try I feel bad when I don't respond to messages because I always try to respond to all of them but sometimes I just I have I'll have like my message inbox will just have like 35 messages being like oh what can I do how much does cell phone cost whatever whatever and uh, I feel this is sounding really mean but I'm sorry but I I don't want to answer those emails anymore and, and again, everyone's like, oh, I tried looking up, but I couldn't find the answers. It's like, yes, yeah, yes you can, because I found those answers when I was looking for this job. I didn't email someone and ask them to give me all the answers. So, um, I know, again, it's easy to just ask someone, but look it up for yourself, because <laughs> I can't do it anymore. It's too exhausting. <laughs> um, and... Probably 98% of people in my situation are going to feel the same way too. So if you if you give up on asking me the question and then just go and ask someone else, they're going to probably be just as irritated as I am. So, you're cool, but I can't keep answering this these questions in personal messages and stuff. So, um, you know, just Google it. <laughs> Please. Find a company that you want to work for and Google it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that sounded mean. I'm sorry, but <sighs> that it just happens. Okay. Um, I think I answered most of the questions that people have been asking about a lot. I feel like today's video was like really mean. Not just the last part, but I feel like the whole part was kind of mean. The whole part, the whole video was kind of mean. Sorry. <laughs> Tomorrow, I am probably going to go and get the baby clothes. 
I was gonna go today, but then it started drizzling, and the sky has been looking cloudy and ominous all day, so I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to get caught in the rain. That would just be awful. And um, I plan on making kind of like a Sano introduction video. Sano is where I live, so just like a this is Sano, this is the cool places in Sano, this is what Sano is famous for because YouTube's trying to do something for Japan and I, I you know, if, if I can figure it out and be a part of it then that's great, I think. Um, and so that we could end this on kind of a less mean note, I clean up my room. My room's all clean, finally, after not cleaning it for a month. And uh, look at my flowers. I love how they're all pointing at the sun. Look at people riding their bikes. Um, I love how they're all pointing at the sun. I know that's like how plants work. They automatically go to the sun because that's what gives them their life. <laughs> so I, I just like how that happens. And this one, this is the one that bloomed first. And look how it's like light purple compared to all these other ones. It was very dark before. I don't know. That's just just my awesome plants, that's all. And then these dead ones that I still have for some reason. I don't know why I still have them, but I do. Um, Alright, so that's all. Sorry for being kind of mean today, but had to happen. See you tomorrow.